welcome back to the channel this is actually pride if it's your first time here please make it a point to subscribe before you finish even the video guys otherwise i want to show you something very interesting it's african it's cultural it's very local First of all, let's start straight from this. This is a mortar and a pistol. So this is a pistol and that's the mortar. I'm going to use this for pounding. Something I'm going to show you right here is the thing I am going to pound. I don't know, come a bit closer maybe. Yes, I can show them. Guys, this is millet. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but this is millet and it's um it's actually our staple food if I can, I can say that. This is how we clean it. It comes like this from the garden like i've just shown you this is how it comes from the garden so there's a process it goes through before it gets onto the plate you understand so this is straight from the garden sun dried and this is so far where it has reached so this is the the, the, the point i'm going to pick up from i'm going to do right now is to clean it so it can make flour which can be used for cooking like food or even porridge or any other thing you understand so guys this like i showed you this is more than the pistol this is just a local broom i don't you i know you've ever seen this at least before this is a winnower i don't know if you have this in your area but this is used for winnowing in my land you guys um just in case you, have, you also have this in your area let me also know in the comment section and then about my outfit today i have a wrapper on as you can see because there's husks that is going to come out of this thing and it's kind of dirty and actually itches by the way so you have to be careful with it so you tie this so it does not get onto your cloth as well as you do a head wrapper just for the same purpose guys So guys as you can see this pounding here that i'm doing takes some good minutes before this millet here is ready before it gets clean guys it takes a good minute for it to get ready so i'm going to keep doing this until the husks get off the millet so guys let me just get into action now not easy by the way guys it needs energy like energy you understand so let me first cut some bread again before i can continue otherwise i'm losing it i'm losing it <laughs> Guys, this is it. You have to stand accordingly. You see where the wind is going, and then you stand accordingly. Because if you stand in a direction where the husks are going to come straight to you, you will not like it afterwards. So you have to make sure that where you're standing, the wind is going to blow the husks off the millet, so the millet can remain clean. And then, secondly, you ensure that you don't get too 
dirty with it. I mean, it itches like I told you, so you have to be very careful, you understand? Otherwise, this what I'm doing right now is just to get off the husk. I think you're noticing it has a lot of husks, and this is what I'm talking about. So the intention is to get off all this thing that is getting off, and the millet has to remain pure, like without any dirt. So this is just it. So guys, the millet is actually clean enough. I am just going to grind it so I can make flour out of this. And we use this as food, like I told you. So straight, let me just go and grind it already. It's for grinding. And I'm just going to do this for stability. There's nothing much I'm going to do. Apart from making that stone stable. And then off, I will just grind it. It's not stable enough, so this is what it takes. You have to make sure it is stable and it's not going to shake. Otherwise, the millet this side might have to run up and enter the flour. So it takes carefulness for this flour to come out smooth. You understand? All right, let's do this. <coughs> You can see this is now the flour, this you can use for porridge like I told you, or even mingo and get food out of this. But this is just the process of making flour the local way. That is how we make it. We don't use machines. Um, otherwise, that is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Let me know what you think about it as well in the comment section. Guys, please share. And if in case it's your first time here, please make it a point to subscribe as well. And you're going to love it with me here. Otherwise, thank you very much. Let me just continue with my plan for now. Bye-bye.